Hi everyone, welcome back to MedSurge Mentor. Today let's discuss a disease from respiratory system which is lung cancer. Worldwide in 2020, lung cancer occurred in 2.2 million people and resulted in 1.8 million deaths. Okay, let's see this condition in detail. First of all, let's see the definition of lung cancer. Lung cancer is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells in one or both lungs. Etiology of lung cancer Tobacco smoke is the main contributor to lung cancer, which contains at least 73 known carcinogens. 85% of cases of lung cancer are due to long-term tobacco smoking. Other common causes are Genetics Pollution Radon gas Asbestos Arsenic Air pollution Silica Chromium Ionizing radiation and Toxic gases Types of lung cancer There are mainly three types of lung cancer and they are non-small cell lung cancer, small cell lung cancer and other cancers that spread to the lungs. There are three subtypes for non-small cell lung cancer and they are adenocarcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma and large cell or undifferentiated carcinoma. Let's see each one in brief. Non-small cell carcinoma accounts for 85% of all lung cancers. It is any type of epithelial lung cancer other than small cell lung carcinoma. And we have already mentioned that there are three subtypes and the first subtype is adenocarcinoma. It starts in the cells that would normally secrete substances such as mucus. And as the name suggests, squamous cell carcinoma starts in squamous cells, which are flat cells that line the inside of the airways in the lungs. And the next subtype is large cell or undifferentiated carcinoma, which can appear in any part of the lungs. It is a fast growing cancer which makes it harder to treat. Second main type of lung cancer is small cell lung cancer. About 10 to 15 percentage of all lung cancers are small cell lung cancer. This type of lung cancer tend to grow and spread faster than non small cell carcinoma. It is also called odd cell carcinoma. Third type of lung cancer is cancers that start in any other organs like breast, pancreas and kidneys which can sometimes spread to the lungs. Stages of known small cell lung cancer. There are mainly four stages and they are stage 1, 2, 3 and 4 and stage 3 is divided into 2 and they are stage 3a and stage 3b. Stage 1 means cancer is found in the lung but it has not spread outside the lung. Stage 2 refers to cancers that is found in the lung and nearby lymph nodes. Stage 3 means Cancer is in the lung and lymph node in the middle of the chest. And as I mentioned, there are two subtypes for stage 3. And in stage 3A, cancer is found in the lymph nodes, but only on the same side of the chest where cancer first started growing. In stage 3B, cancer has spread to lymph nodes on the opposite side of the chest or to lymph nodes above the collarbone. In stage 4, cancer has spread to both lungs into the area around the lungs or to
to distal organs. Pathophysiology of lung cancer Due to etiological factors like carcinogen or genetics, gene mutation occurs followed by activation of oncogenes or the inactivation of tumor suppressor genes. As a result of this, immune system gets activated as a normal defense mechanism. Gradually, cancer cells develop resistance to the oxidative stress which enable them to win over the immune system. At the next stage, there is abnormal activation of stem cells. As it progresses, there is uncontrollable cell division in lungs resulting in increased tumor growth. Ultimately, cancer cells invade nearby organs which is called metastasis of lung cancer. Clinical features of lung cancer. Common clinical features are cough, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest pain, coughing up blood, hoarseness of voice, weight loss, bone pain, headache, weakness, clubbing, poor appetite, and convulsions. Diagnostic measures done to rule out lung cancer are blood test, biomarker testing, chest x-ray, CT scan, MRI, bronchoscopic or CT guided biopsy, histopathological examination, sputum cytology and positron emission tomography. Next is medical management of lung cancer. Common medical managements are radiation therapy, chemotherapy, combination of radiation and chemotherapy, targeted drug therapy and immunotherapy. Let's see each one in detail. First one is radiation therapy. Radiation therapy uses high energy rays or particles to destroy cancer cells. Mainly there are two types of radiation therapy that is external radiation therapy and internal radiation therapy. Internal radiation therapy is also called brachytherapy. Radiation therapy kill the cancer cells which result in tumor shrinkage leading to increased quality of life. Next medical management is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy uses cytotoxic drugs to destroy cancer cells. It is mainly used to shrink tumor cells and destroy cancer cells. It is also used as maintenance therapy. Commonly used combination drugs are cisplatin and gemcitabine, cisplatin and docetaxel, cisplatin and etoposide, carboplatin and paclitaxel, and gemcitabine and docetaxel. Third medical management is targeted drug therapy. This therapy is done followed by biomarker testing which look for changes in DNA. It can be additions, deletions or rearrangements in DNA. This therapy target these changes directly. Targeted drug therapy include hormone therapies, gene expression modulators, apoptosis inducers, and angiogenesis inhibitors. Last one is immunotherapy. Immunotherapy triggers immune system to destroy cancer cells. Example is monoclonal antibodies. 
it binds on target molecule resulting in cell destruction it can also act as carriers of radioactive substances to the cancer cells resulting in destruction surgical managements of lung cancer there are mainly four surgical procedures and they are wedge resection segmentectomy lobectomy and pneumonectomy let's see each one in brief wedge resection is the removal of small wedge shaped part of the lung tissue surrounding the cancerous tumor whereas segmentectomy involves removal of one to four segments of certain lobes to save the uninvolved tissue third procedure is lobectomy in this procedure lobe of the lung affected by cancer is removed fourth procedure is pneumonectomy here entire lung affected by cancer is removed Now let's move on to the complications of lung cancer. Common complications are pleural effusion, metastasis, superior vena cava syndrome, spinal cord compression, hemoptysis, anemia, risk for infection and blood clots. Now let's see some preventive measures of lung cancer. They include quit cigarette smoking, avoid second hand smoke, test home for radon and other poisonous gases, limit exposure to carcinogens, use respiratory protective equipment at work, eat a diet full of fruits and vegetables. exercise most days of the week and limit exposure to polluted environment nursing diagnosis for patient with lung cancer they include acute pain related to inflammation fear and anxiety related to uncertain disease outcome altered nutrition less than body requirement related to hypermetabolic state risk for fluid volume deficit related to impaired intake of fluids and fatigue related to increased energy requirements other possible nursing diagnoses are risk for infection related to inadequate secondary defenses risk for impaired skin integrity related to effects of radiation and chemotherapy and risk for constipation or diarrhea related to use of opiates and poor fluid intake nursing care of patient with lung cancer they include evaluate pain relief and control pain at regular intervals assess oxygen saturation and respiratory status encourage use of stress management skills or complementary therapies encourage patient to eat high calorie nutrient rich diet with adequate fluid intake avoid overly sweet fatty or spicy foods and encourage use of relaxation techniques and diversional activities other nursing cares are plan care to allow frequent rest periods assist with self care needs when indicated provide supplemental oxygen reposition frequently and keep linens dry and wrinkle free avoid chances of infection and ensure proper explanations are given So far we have seen regarding lung cancer it is the uncontrolled proliferation of abnormal cells in the lungs 
We have seen that cigarette smoking is a major contributing factor for the development of lung cancer. We have also discussed etiology, pathophysiology, stages, clinical features, diagnostic measures, management, nursing diagnosis and nursing care. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to request topics from medical surgical nursing. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.